Hi and welcome to the session. Let us discuss the following question. The question says the volume of a right circular cone is 9856 cm3. If the diameter of the base is 28 cm spined, first part is height of the cone, second part is slant height of the cone, third part is curved surface area of the cone. Let's now begin with the solution. In the first part, we have to find the height of the cone. In the question, we are given that volume of right circular cone is 9856 cm3. Diameter of the base is 28 centimeters as diameter is equal to 28 centimeters. So this implies radius of the base is equal to Twenty eight by two centimeters, and this is equal to fourteen centimeters. We have to find the height of the cone, so let height of right circular cone be h centimeters. We know that volume of a right circular cone is equal to 1 by 3 pi r square h. In the question, we are given the volume as 9856 cm3. So, this implies 9856 is equal to 1 by 3 pi r square h. We know the value of r. So by substituting the value of r, we find that 9856 is equal to 1 by 3 into 22 by 7 into 14 into 14 into h. Now this implies h is equal to 9856 into 3 into 7 by 22 into 14 into 14. On cancelling 7 by 14 we get 1 by 2. On cancelling 9856 by 2 we get 4928. On cancelling, 4928 by 40, we get 704 by 2. So now we have 704 into 3 by 22 into 2. On cancelling, 704 by 22, we get 64 by 2. Now on cancelling 2 by 64 we get 32. Again cancelling 32 by 2 we get 16. So now we are left with 16 into 3 and this is equal to 48. So height is equal to 48 centimeters. In the second part, we have to find the slant height of the cone. From the first part, we know that height of right circular cone, that is h is equal to 48 centimeters. And we also know that radius of right circular cone, that is r is equal to 14 centimeters. 
we know that L is equal to square root of x square plus r square. So by substituting the values of r and h, we get 48 square plus 14 square centimeters. And this is equal to, this is equal to square root of 2304 plus 196 centimeters. This is equal to square root of 2500 centimeters. And this is equal to 50 centimeters. So, slant height of the cone is 50 centimeters. This completes the second part. In third part, we have to find the curved surface area of the cone. We know that curved surface area of a cone is equal to pi r l. From the second part, we know that L is equal to 50 centimeters and we also know that R is equal to 14 centimeters. So, by substituting the values of R and L in this, we get 22 by 7 into 40 into 50 centimeters square. On cancelling 14 by 7, we get 2. So, this is equal to 2200 centimeters square. Hence, our required answer of the first part is 48 centimeters. Of the second part is 50 centimeters. And of the third part is 2200 centimeters square. So this completes the session. Bye and take care.